Et on est reparti du coup. T'as pas sauté Laissez-moi partir Faire quoi toi Nothing behind me, only my shadow. Oh, bring it on.
not bad for a miserable old bear. You saved me from that shadow. Little brat. Did nobody ever teach you manners? You're all the same, you grown-ups. You think you can teach us how to live, how to be wise. But just because you don't have much longer to live, it doesn't mean you can carry on living through us. I don't claim to be the wisest, but I'm not stupid enough to believe you're a normal kid. You stink of death. You were controlling that shadow, weren't you? You're a shrewd one, Grandpa. I'll make you an offer. I'll allow you to drink from my fountain of youth. A single drop could make you at least ten years younger. And I'll let you go. I'd rather not fight. It would risk ruining my flawless skin. This thing. Don't tell me it's- It's an elixir of youth. Don't make that face. All those brats ever thought about was playing games. It didn't take much for me to lure them with my pan flute. Like so many mice. I kill those other demons because it was my duty. But with you, it's personal. I'm gonna cut you to pieces. Peter Pan. Il n'y a pas gaffe. came back to see me. Any chance of finding out who you are? And what you want from me? Who do you think I am? A sadistic nightmare demon? You really are a very astute bear. I'll be whatever you want, Teddy. And my first duty as a demon will be to open your eyes. As if I could trust. Let's talk about the monster you just defeated. Doesn't it seem strange to you that a creature so full of selfishness, so rotten and treacherous, could live in the dreams of a little girl? Where are you going with this? Uh, wait. Oh, I don't feel very well. Uh, my head's spinning. Do you really believe a monster can dwell in the mind of someone who doesn't share the same darkness? 
How dare you compare Alicia to a little boy who steals human lives out of pure selfishness? I won't let you talk about her like that. Ooh, we get very riled up when it comes to your little girl, don't we? Believe what you like. The truth is that I mainly wanted to distract you and waste time. Distract me from what? From the fact that, even as we speak, mm. I'm slowly absorbing your powers. You... what? Don't worry. I did it last time as well. <laughs> you won't die, I think. Consider it a tool for enjoying a friendly chat with a demon. You... cursed. See you soon, my dear. We will meet again. Of that you can be sure. strange creature try to kill me. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't worry about you. But right now, Alicia's safety is at stake. Please, be very careful. These nightmare creatures are treacherous and dangerous. If you get the chance, kill them without hesitation. Can you keep going? Yes, I'm feeling better already. Don't worry about me. Hey, you! You can come out now! The fight's over. I did it! I defeated the Demon Boy! <laughs> you did it? All right, all right. We did it. Where is my last wish? Here it is. How much do I have to drink? A sip? A glass? A bottle? Well, the little boy said... The kid said the stronger the drinker's magic, the more he needs. A creature as powerful as you will need a lot. Drink your fill. Well said, kid. I'm so powerful that I'll drink it all, just to be sure. Wait, what's happening to me? Qu'est-ce qu'il vient de faire là Ah ouais. So long, jabbering genie. Enjoy a few million years of rejuvenation. Bear, you tricked him. Remember, we're still in Alicia's mind. Is this what you want to teach her? Don't lecture me. The moral is clear. Be careful what you wish for, or you might end up getting annihilated at the hands of a vengeful bear. I give up. I know you have fur where your brain should be, but still... How much longer are you gonna keep this up? Instead of wasting time moaning, where to next? We could fly back to the pirate ship and set sail to our next destination! Aye! After passing three tests, I deserve a pirate ship of my own! Arr! Please just keep quiet for once. When you talk, it usually brings bad luck. Just then, a sudden gust of wind blew out of nowhere. The fairy dust scattered on the wind, and the unfortunate bear began to fall. He fell into the deep blue sea. Teddy gasped for air. His fur was soaked through and he struggled to stay afloat. He hadn't noticed that the ominous black smudge below him was getting bigger and bigger. An enormous and terrible dogfish emerged from the waves and swallowed them whole, before sinking back to the depths of the sea. Teddy and Lighty found themselves in the dark, fetid belly of the beast. Ah ouais, dans le ventre d'une baleine. Why are you always screaming? 
I'm fine. Luckily. Wait until we get out of here alive before saying that. Are you... Le bonhomme il est coincé, bah, il va mourir là. Ok. La folie. Je sais pas comment j'ai fait, mais j'ai passé. Miroir, miroir. Say we get out of here before we find out. Hey, don't leave me here. Wait for me. intention of being your guinea pig the subject is requested to proceed to the test area maybe he can't hear us or he's ignoring us the test will start shortly please wait patiently please yet do you remember the eggs from before whatever was in there is hatched Test. The subject has 
subject is extremely violent. It attacked my real children without hesitation. Real children? Those monsters? Please proceed to the next test area. On va soigner. Du, du. Oui. Les petits moineaux, les petits moineaux. Bah c'est quoi mais c'est des trucs qui volent. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Ah! <laughs> 
figure that out myself. Well, let me Bear fight. Little faith, let me concentrate. When you see the weapon shine like a star, hit it with all of your might. Whoa! I'm trying! None of our attacks seem to work! I figure that out myself. Now let me fight! I thought I'll wait to... J'adore, mais heureusement qu'ils nous remettent là. Tu la vois briller toi Now let me fight. Oh, bear of little faith, let me concentrate. When you see the weapon shine like a star, hit it with all of your might.
physical test. Target shooting. There! Finally a fun test! What should we aim for? Don't you get it, light bulb? We're the target. First physical test. There! Finally a fun test! What should we aim for? Don't you get it, light? Ah, miroir, miroir. Mal, c'est pas mal aussi, hein. Ça va être chaud. Putain. Le plus chaud que prévu. Déjà là, hop, passer comme ça. miroir merde voilà tu moi tu moi
Hop. 41%. Subject shows no sign of intelligence. It continues to kill my children indiscriminately. Its physical abilities, however, are impressive. I could certainly get some good material from its body to work with. C'était deux fois, hein. Alors... Ouais, ouais, ouais. Pour t'améliorer. Miroir, miroir Mais meurs toi shot for physical test speed test subject is requested to run to the end of the designated course why on earth should we run Oh 
On peut pas pour l'instant. Pourquoi tu voulais pas lancer son boomerang Le... Je aurait bien passé. Après c'est pas grave si on peut se faire toucher une fois ou deux. Bien là je te dis Putain mais c'est quoi qui me bloque
subject, who from now on shall be referred to as the patient. Given the delicate operation it's about to undergo, ah, it's like Pinocchio, no? finally turned up at the test area. Late. Oh, don't worry. I'll be sure to kill you quickly. The patient continues to be restless and violent. We will therefore proceed with anesthesia for mechanical trauma before full dissection. Who exactly are you planning to dissect? The anesthetist in charge will be the eldest of my real children. You're calling this thing a real child? You really are crazy. The patient's irritating remarks are reminiscent of those lying fairies. They didn't want to use their magic to give me real children. Fortunately, science doesn't lie. And science, yes, science can create life. Science. And now, let the procedure begin. Oh, it's the de Pinocchio. Hein. Dans son bras, dans sa main, quoi. J'aurais préféré que tu fasses ça euh, en bas quoi. On va se tuer. Elle se réveille 10 ans plus tard quoi. Et maintenant, 
Let the procedure begin. Je saute trop tôt, c'est sûrement ça. Il m'a pas touché sur ça, je pensais vraiment... Qui allait me toucher sur, sur ça Ah oh, putain Ça je ne sais pas comment l'esquiver, et ça non plus. Trois vagues d'attaque. Courageux. Mega 
Lies. Hey, up. Hey, you. How do you get out of this place? You killed the doctor. Le Q et sa famille, <rire> on l'a exterminé. Can you tell us if the doctor had a plan or some way to get out of here? No, no, there's no way out. Someone here isn't very good at lying. Let me take a look around. Let's see what I can find. Even if you do find a way out, we're still at the bottom of the ocean. There is no escape. Let's see. Nails, bolts, wooden planks, shark blood. These are all the items he used to create these strange creatures. We aren't strange. We're normal children. Aha! Water fairy dust. This could be useful. You fairies are already useless when you're alive, let alone as dust. Their dust makes everything waterproof. We'll need it in the ocean. Hey, you talking pile of wreckage! If you don't tell us how to get out of here, you're gonna die too! I don't care. You won't get anything out of me! Bear, there's no more time! We have to escape! Darnation! What had begun as mere sparks were starting to burst into hungry flames. A roaring fire soon broke out, and Teddy and Lighty were forced to flee. The laboratory was now completely engulfed in flames, and thick smoke spread through the beast's entrails. Eventually irritating the terrible dogfish enough to cause it to spasm and sneeze violently. Teddy and Lighty seized the opportunity to let themselves be launched out of the huge creature, onto the seabed with the dark and mysterious ocean all around them. Mm. 
natation avancée. Cool ça. La jalousie. Là, il y a un petit miroir. On va s'arrêter là.